Welcome back to Rough Diamond Recipes. Today's recipe, Michael will be showing you how to make carbonara, the classic Italian dish. And that will teach me to leave my video recording equipment around when the kids are about. Okay, so today we're going to be making a carbonara and it couldn't be easier. We've got um, 170 grams of, we make fresh pasta, but you can use store-bought pasta if you want to. Uh, we've got one beaten egg, a third a cup of each of parmesan and grana padano. Uh, you've got 50 grams of pancetta, smoked or normal, it's up to you. Uh, we've got 20 grams of butter, a clove of minced garlic, pepper to taste, and a little bit of parmesan for sprinkling over at the end. Okay, so first of all, you want a rolling ball on your water in a pan. Then we put some salt in there. And then the pasta as well. We'll just lift it around a little bit. Okay, and then uh, in another pan on a low heat, we put the uh, butter in with a little bit of the pancetta. And just mix that around. Get the batter all mixed in with the bacon, the pancetta. Once the uh, bacon starts to brown, throw in the garlic. that stir around as well, keeping it on a lower heat so the garlic doesn't overcook. I see the bacon starting to brown as well. That looks good. So once the pasta's all ready and cooked, turn the heat off on both. A bit closer. And just literally just fish it into the, um, into the pan with the pancetta. Get a little bit of water in, if you want that. Mix it sauce. Mix it out. And then mix that all around. Mix it all in with the pancetta. As soon as you've got that mixed in, throw the egg in. Mix it around. You don't need it on a heat, the pasta cooks the residual heat will cook the egg. So you don't need the heat on. Once that's all mixed in, throw in both the cheeses. And the pepper to taste. And then just mix that all around. It's a little bit too thick, that's why we saved a little bit of the water for the sides. You can choose how, how saucy you want it to be, if you want it to be a thicker or a thin sauce. Okay. That looks good. Hope you enjoyed Mike's version of Carbonara. Feel free to subscribe, share and like and hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. And just for the record he left me and his mum to do the washing up.